What up, dogs? Welcome back to Red Vsauce. I'm Natalie. I'm Will. And we are resellers, meaning we flip items online for a profit. In today's video, we're going to hit up three thrift stores, hopefully buy things cheap and sell it high online. On this channel, we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers. If you guys could be rad, hit that subscribe button and let's get into it. All right, store number one. Number one. Salvation Army. I'm trying to start off hot. Hopefully they stocked up from last week when we were here. And it's to you, my lady. Thank you, thank you. This rack is 49 cents. Oh, Habitat. We picked up one of them sweatshirts. I just posted it today. I like the color though. Yeah. Was it vintage? Habitat? Yeah. I think it's made in USA. Made in USA. Single stitch? Let's just bring it. 49 cents? Can't beat it. Glacier Park? That's cute. On the board. Alright, I got this section. <laughs> okay. Alright. We can have this section. Hey, hey, this is my hey. hey. Look, there's more. Oh. I think this was from last time, maybe. No, I don't remember no. that. Yeah, these are yes. Wait, are these a dollar? <gasps> One dollar? One, two dollars. Two dollars. That's expensive. Oof, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll think about it, but we'll bring it. <laughs> this is my Okay. Everything's color coded here. <coughs> Mickey, look at the tag. Ooh, vintage made in USA, Mickey and Co. Nice. Oh, this one's cute. I wish it was bigger. Is it a size small? No, medium. And it is $3.99. Oh. Life is good. It's a bit plain. Plain, plain, plain. Another Mickey? Wait. 3XL made in you would say. Aww. Wow, that is cute. $3.99. I'm not sure about this tag. Like I know it's it's washed out. I gotta look closer onto it. Like this one looks fine, but that looks a bit weird. In terms of authenticity. But I might just buy it for myself, honestly. <laughs> look, I got two Mickeys. <laughs> this one could fit me. It's... And then you could wear that. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. What okay. do we got? Um, okay, let's go over here. I didn't even finish this. Oh, okay. I didn't... Well, we could go through. Okay. You're going. Yeah, I got this left. You have this left? Yes. Okay. Car heart. With the embroidered subtle spell out on a faded reddish pink hoodie zippo. $3.99. Nice. I'll go grab a cart. Why don't you go grab a cart? I'll go grab a cart. <laughs> they still have a lot of the same vintage t-shirts we saw last time, but they added some more. This is just funny. I just like how they got the hula dancers <laughs> with the frills. 
That's funny. Double stitch. Munchen banger? However you say that. It's okay. I don't like the sparkle. That's a personal opinion. <clears throat> The Anvil Vintage Made in USA tag, Arizona. They're all a dollar. No, this was two dollars. Oh, sorry, buddy. Let's see. Wait, they raised the prices. Okay, this one's this one's two. That one's kind of cool though. Arizona Fruit of the Loom Vintage tag. This one's a dollar. Heavyweight made in Mexico. Mexico. Oh. It's kind of nice. Colorado. Power Pro. Unita. Tag. $1.99. Single stitch though. That's clean. Very clean. Oh, God. No track. Best in Florida. Carolina Smile. Single stitch. I kind of like it. All embroidered. How much is it? Is it one or two? Two. <laughs> Killing me today. Some of the t-shirts are two dollars now. Oh no! Unbelievable. <laughs> it was nice when they were a dollar. No. That's kind of cute. Single stitch. Whoa, that's that's cool. They definitely filled up on a lot of the t-shirts. So we picked up like 10 t-shirts here last time and we sold four of them in like a week. So can't really beat it with the one dollar or two. <laughs> you didn't know what single stitch was. <laughs> this is a very good example. That's cool. And we sell them for like around fifteen to twenty dollars shipped, so nothing crazy. But when you have a lot of them, it adds up. He wants to get in on the uh, T-shirt action now. <laughs> Coming to my aisle. I was just strolling around. <laughs> Our cart is looking full once again. Nice. Oh, didn't even see that one yet. He hasn't shown me what he found yet. Just spotted Ed Hardy with the little bling bling on the front here. And then spell out on the back. Ed Hardy is 100% a brand you should be on the lookout for. We found two pair of pants that were like, had a lot of design on graphic on them and they sold for 120 and 80 dollars so definitely a brand to be on the lookout for a t-shirt you won't get that much but <laughs> if you can get two get it for two and sell it for 20 that's a flip in my book and almost right next to the first ed hardy was another one dang i like that wow this is all of a print it's not my style front though, but... and back 
the tag is gone, which is a shame. Uh, wow, that is cool. The more graphic, the better. And it is three dollars. <laughs> Two ninety nine. <laughs> All right, on to the stuff that I have not seen yet. So, first one, another Dollar Tea Alaska oh. with the all embroidery. Nice. Made in USA. Yeah. This one I thought was cool. Atlantic Beach for a buck. Vintage Fruit of the Loom, heavy cotton. Yeah. Nike Pro Combat. Nike Pro Combat, size 2XL, fitted a for a dollar. Oh, we might be able to get like 12. does have some problems with the stitching though. I, I don't like that. Okay. Four bucks, they do have the tags. Dry fit, large, tall, tall. I think. Tall, ooh, that's a good size, tall. So they look clean though. Yeah, that's a yes. Yeah, absolutely. Bahamas. Bahamas, I think we've seen that earlier. And then the 49 cents. 49 cents one. one, yes. I, like, is it do plain? we waste our time on it? I like the color. Let me think on it. Okay, you think about it. <laughs> 49 cents, <laughs> 15 dollars shipped. We make that's literally true. $10. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right, I'll package you. Well, I'll toss these back. You look at stains on them. Nice, nice, nice. Here he comes. He's got a smile. <laughs> $35. $35, three bags full of clothing we were talking to the cashier lady and she said that because we we were just like it's amazing how many destination t-shirts and reasonably priced that you guys are and she said that there was like this famous golfer that came and just donated like 20, 20 boxes, boxes of t-shirts of t-shirts of where he played and yeah we're getting them and we're coming back next week to get more. Yeah, she said there's tons of more boxes. <laughs> so we'll be back. Ooh, this is a good start. Great start. Store number two. Missions Thrift. Oh, look at the bobbleheads. <laughs> okay, so I found a Tommy Bahama 100% linen button-up shirt and this one is perfect for the summer. This is a light material that people like to wear in the summer and the south through it is decent and especially when you have Oh, a nice pattern on it. It's not just a plain one. I would not recommend picking up the plain ones, but with a nice floral pattern like this, it should be a nice sale. I do see that it has very subtle orangey mark right here, but I don't think it's going to do anything. It should get about 25 plus shipping. Yeah. All right. On the board for this store as well. Oh yeah, <laughs> I was getting worried. I have never hoped for this one because this store is just <clears throat> not the greatest. <laughs> and just a little bit down the aisle, we have another one, but this is 100% silk. And also look at the pattern all over pattern right here, which is something to be on the lookout for. I think it's the same person because it's also a size medium. So definitely the same person dropping off their Tell me Bahama stuff here. Gives me Hawaii vibes. And that's good vibes. <laughs> 
so I spotted this huge graphic on a t-shirt and I had never personally heard about low rider super show but with a huge graphic I always look up comps and there's one pre-owned listed and four sold and they range between 15 to 30 dollars so I think I'm going to take a chance on this one since it's very clean and the graphic is just huge I think we can get 20 ship for this one if you walk down the pants section and you just see a swish staring at you you take a look at it right so I immediately see this is a pair of Nike golf pants and oh they're stretchy hold up these are real stretchy this is the first tan color I have found Nike Fit Dry Nike Golf uh, great sellers this one look, looked clean it has a few spots right there but if that's the only thing these are super nice and should be around 25 plus shipping very stretchy I wonder what the ingredients are <laughs> I wonder what the material is because it feels like there's spandex in this and if it is it might be worth more let's look at the tag and yup 12% spandex I knew it so I'm actually gonna look up if they are worth more normally they are because it gives that nice stretch and comfortability comfortability but these are definitely I pick up unless I find more stains on it. So yeah, Nike Golf, be on the lookout for. Did you find anything? No? It's okay, I got you. Oh, you got me. I hope so. <laughs> My back is starting to hurt though. Stop. From carrying Stop. your... <laughs> Okay. I need to redeem myself, so we're going to stop at another little thrift store. Alright, another thrift store next. You gotta take some weight off of my back. I already did this. <laughs> Will has a find. Uh, only thing I could find in this store is Polo Ralph Lauren. <laughs> size XL, like cable knit sweater for women's. It's a nice color. It is, it is. I like how the neck is like rolled a little bit. Yeah. Um, gives me like the... Uh, sunburn oh my god stop peeling. stop <laughs> that'll forever stay with me but yeah nice pickup for four dollars expecting to get probably 25 30. yeah plus shipping plus shipping good on the board so you know how we just went over this his pint i just look over and I see <laughs> nat, nat was all the way over there i'm right here it's about right to get here. there she did this last time. Ooh, Patagonia. No, that's my find. Ah, that's, women's small that's zip my up find. fleece with the with the little pocket on the sleeve here. Wow, this is uh, always a brand we're looking for. Uh, if you saw our last video where we picked up a plaid button-up shirt, short sleeve by Patagonia. It's all the same day within a few hours on Facebook. Just a little update there. I'll probably put the screenshot. So yeah, I'm very nice find, Natalie. <laughs> oh, what else is there? Let's see. Get out of my aisle. <laughs> what, is there more Patagonia? <laughs> he made the whoop whoop sound. Whoop whoop. So this one does need some work. It is pilling, but this one is a automatic pickup. We've already sold a few of these. <gasps> yes! The Izod Lacoste. It looks legit. Yes. Size it XL, made in USA. Nice. Very nice, like beige color. Oh, perfect. We've yeah. sold. Yeah. So it does need some work. There's some wear in it, but we have sold everything by this collaboration, Izod Lacoste and Cardigans. It's about forty dollars plus shipping, if my memory is correct. Yeah, everything that we found by them, super quick flips. Wow, he's hype. He's hype. I let him find that one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, so always go through your items before checkout and look for stains or wear. We found a stain right there on this Tommy Bahama linen shirt. And also there's discoloration right here, here. And on the other side of the sleeve, it also has a few stains here, here. And also right here. Um, so, 
putting it back. Yeah, that's just a lot. And this one also had a stain right there on the white. Like It's like some grape soda at the barbecue they had. Yeah, you can get away with stains on a lot of items, but when it's a white item, it just looks terrible. Yeah, you could see it from a mile away. It's right there, <laughs> which is sad. But, um, oh, it's got a stain on the back too, yeah. Oh. And if we find two now, we're gonna find like 10 when we get home. Yeah. There's always more stains when you get home. <laughs> so just not worth it. But yeah, picking up the t-shirt, Patagonia, Isa Lacoste, and Ralph Lauren here. So this is a quality haul from this thrift store. I'm telling you, this is a good haul <laughs> for this thrift store. <laughs> so we don't know how this happened, but we just got four of those items for $8 and... Uh, 76 cents. 76 cents. He didn't hand us a receipt. I didn't ask questions. <laughs> we just gave him money. <laughs> we'll that's, take it. That's we'll my new it. man's. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> We're on a roll today. We're on a roll. All right. Number three. Nat, you gonna find anything today? God damn. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm just tired, Nat. You know? My back is still hurting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get it. It's a little late. It's about four o'clock. So just going across the t-shirts, Grunt Style has a really uh, noticeable sleeve here. It says the Grunt Style here. Yippee ki -yay. Uh, That's a pretty cool shirt, size large. For $2.59, that's a pickup. Should be a quick seller. Oh, what is that? Carhartt, assembled in Mexico. Usually their button-up shirts aren't a pickup. However, this one's a really heavy cotton. Buttons there, size large, should be a pickup. All right, Nat just pulled up to me. What you find, girl? All right, we have a starter. I believe these are vintage, 3XL sweatshirt. Okay. We have found one starter sweatshirt before and I think we sold it around $30 plus shipping. And then this one I want to look up what Stony Brook Stony Brook basketball. basketball. It's got the Jordan. Um, that's always a look up at least. Exactly. But oh, I don't that's know what cool. I don't know what school this is. If it's a college or high school, so we'll see. But anything Air Jordan you definitely want to look up. It's a very good brand that sells very well. And then we have two Tommy Bahama 100% silk shirts. I like these because they're 2XL. Yeah, we sold this one in purple before. Exactly. And we can bundle these two up because they're the same size and similar style. That's pretty cool. I know. And then we have Duluth Trading 2XL. Oh, it... Button down shirt. You see how the collar is buttoned down to the shirt? That's the difference between a button down and a button up. Then we have another 3XL vintage starter sweatshirt in black. They're 3XL too. And then we have a Gear for Sports West, West Virginia. Virginia. <laughs> is this sweatshirt. 3XL? No. Oh, just XL. <laughs> then on the next style, here they are again. So grunt style, body by quarantine that's cool and elf team six i'm assuming this is a christmas one. Oh, that's cool camo jeans have been hot for us these ones are wrangler um, but what you want to look out for is the double knee these ones sell for more um, but even the regular ones will sell for you and real tree it says there Nice So as per usual, we're checking the items before checkout and the good thing we did because this one is literally missing a button <laughs> no! So unfortunately since it doesn't come with an extra button we can stitch on this one has to go back Sads Alright, so we did end up putting back about half the items because we found 
just tons of like subtle stains or imperfections and we're not saying never pick up things with stains but be pickier with those items yeah um just don't want to waste our time on items that are going to sit in the inventory because of those stains um, while we could be spending our money on items that will sell faster exactly and they take longer to take photographs of because you got to take more photos and close-ups and disclaim a lot more so it just takes more time and it decreases the value on average yeah but overall very successful day uh, yes. even with putting back half the stuff we mm -hmm. had in our cart no hundred dollar item it's been a while since we found that but adding up all the items we got a few hundred dollars sitting in the back of a truck Ooh, so i'm throwing this out into the universe because i want to manifest this there is a rumor that there's going to be a goodwill bins coming to myrtle beach possibly um, so we're keeping our fingers crossed uh, because we love the bins and it'd be awesome to give you guys some bins content uh, But besides that be rad comment like subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one